Hey everybody, what we have here is a, a Russian Dragonov rifle. Uh, this is actually a Tiger, um, but it's been pretty, you know, pretty much upgraded as much as you can have into its military brothers uh, configuration. So it has. Uh, the hand grips, the stock, the 1200 meter um, rear irons, uh, military bipod, 10 round mag, uh, auto safety, etc. 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 So, uh, flash hider. But anyway, the, the, actually, the purpose of this video is uh, the scope. I want to talk about scopes, Russian scopes in general, MPS01 in particular. Uh, PSO-1 is a very interesting scope. It was designed specifically for SVD rifle in the early 60s, late 50s, early 60s. And this is what you see here. And um, this is ingenious, it was way ahead of its time. And um, basically it was married, it was meant to be uh, used only on SVD rifles. Now, um, in the future, however, uh, all of the Russian modern scopes, which actually I will cover in my, f uh, in my subsequent videos, um, are in one way or the other, uh, all are, have some uh, features of PSO-1 scopes. So it is actually a granddaddy of all modern tactical Russian scopes that we have in the field right now that used in AKs and a whole host of other rifles, well, including actually SVD-2. So, um, main features of this PSO scope. Uh, we have a full power uh, scope with a lens, 22, 24 millimeter lens uh, with a ballistic uh, reticle with uh, uh, analog rangefinder, which is based on a half silhouette or full silhouette, up to a thousand meters, you could uh, estimate range. Um, and uh, the original scope also had um, the original PSO scopes also have um, what's called infrared screen, which is uh, when you turn it on. Uh, you could actually see within that scope, when you're looking through the scope, you could actually see the sources of infrared light. What was that done for? That was a very scary feature, actually, at that time. Um, because all of the uh, night vision devices at the time were first generation uh, infrared illuminated uh, uh, night vision devices. And this is actually this little window there, and that's what it is. That's the has that little screen and the switch on the side on this side uh, is I'm going to look around yes the switch right here that you get switch this way is what turns it on and off so basically uh, if you have somebody looking through a night vision and you look into the scope and you can see that source and you could essentially switch it off now the real uh, combat worthiness of the scope was, besides all the features I talked about, was actual the way it was attached to the rifle. So now, as we can see, the rifle itself has uh, a milled a milled rail here, and it is milled on the receiver and that is where the scopes night vision scopes and um, uh, day scopes are attached to and uh, the way it's designed actually it pretty much holds zero no matter how many times you take that scope off and put it back on so like let's say right now the scope was zeroed at 100 yards or whatever I take it off, I put it back on, put the clamp, clamp it back, 
and it will go back pretty much to the same zero. I mean, there might be some deviation, but not huge, not terrible. Absolutely. Uh, worth the very effective in other words in the uh in the field situation maybe not so perfect for uh you know your high-end snipers you know top notch uh but um absolutely worth worth it uh for regular marksmen or you know whatever this rifle was actually designed for uh now Originally, these scopes, well, in Russian military, actually, they filled it with uh, a different type of cap, which I will show on the different scopes that I have here. It actually was, it kind of looked like this. And uh, that is, this is actually the earlier PSO-1 scope, and if you look here, you will see that this particular one was actually made in, uh, let's see if we can see it. Yes, it was made in 1970. Woohoo, I wasn't even born yet. Uh, so, the original PSO scopes had, uh, well actually all of them, the ones that they make now, still for the military, uh, they were powered by um, three volt, uh, 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 battery chargeable battery which is non-standard in the united states in the you know outside of russia and that battery was only strictly made for the military uh and um, uh it had obviously uh the led that it used for radical illumination which is right here uh it was also three volt so now for civilian scope because i mean most of the people kind of like me do prefer to have a battery batteries Readily, you prefer to use readily available batteries like AA, uh, and uh, so converters were introduced. So the converters, kind of like here, you can see the difference. Uh, and uh, so the LED would have to be replaced, and uh, uh, and the, and, the, and the battery converter introduced. So basically, you just put in a one and a half volt AA battery, and it works. It lights the reticle, whatever the color LED is. I mean, mine are red, but I've seen some green and orange. Um, also here, what we're looking at, you could actually see another difference because this scope is uh, PSO-1. This scope is what's called PSO-1M2. This one doesn't have uh, the evil feature <laughs> of um, the infrared screen. So, um, in the, like this one, as you might have seen with the hammer and sickle, it was made actually by the MPZ factory in the Uh And uh, that uh, is actually a, one of the few that I've seen made by the with that screen, because most of the other ones I've seen and I have, like the one that I have currently, right now, this one installed on the rifle, uh, that is a Belarus made, the one that's made in Belarus by Belomo. Uh, and they were making them until late 80s, and they only stopped making them recently. Well, in the late 80s, early 90s, they stopped making those infrared screens. Because they deemed to, to be too expensive and uh, uh, just not worthwhile. And they wanted to streamline the production and make them cheaper a little bit. Uh, so, but as you can see, there's still some floating around. <laughs> I got some. Now here's one more PSO scope, and this one is uh, a Chinese clone that came off of my NDM-86, um, which is pretty much identical uh, to the Russian uh, PSO scope. Uh, the only difference that I notice so far, I haven't used it much, but uh, the difference that I've noticed that the the buffer, the eye relief uh, rubber piece, is actually attached to the. I'm sure there's a way to turn it, or take it off, but uh, it's like kind of attached to the scope, uh, and um, uh, it also uses like the battery, like the, the, the 
the LED is slightly different, so the, the, the threads are different. Uh, and um, it uses uh, like a US uh, watch style uh, batteries. I think it's CR1 slash 3 or something like that. Uh, and um, that's about it. And the reticle is slightly thinner, actually. It's a finer reticle, a little bit uh, easier to aim with it. Uh, the optics are more, if you look through a Russian uh, PSO1 scope, the glass is slightly, it seems to be kind of red. I mean, not red, so what am I talking about? Kind of like a yellowish color. Uh, I don't know, we can see the reticle there. No, it's, I'm sorry, the phone is, because I'm shooting this on my smartphone, and it's really difficult to catch the reticle uh, with the phone camera, so forgive me for not being able to do so. Uh, let's see if we could... Uh, is somewhat... I don't know if it's going to be visible. I should have it. What the hell? Okay. Uh, damn it. No, 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 no. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. It's just very, there's so, many, so much glass inside there, so it's like kind of hard to online. And yeah, it's, I'll have to practice. So, um,. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's our PSO scopes, PSO series scopes. So the next, uh, I mean, ask away any questions. Uh, I might just do a follow up on this video, uh, just in case if I didn't cover this. Just you know, this was just a quick idea that came to my head, and I sat down and did this video. So there's nothing fancy about it, obviously. Um, the the other scopes that I'm going to talk about in the next videos will be more scopes for AK rifles. So the ones that I actually uh, have are the 1P29, Kashtan, Absor, Rockers A, Rockers PM, uh, a whole series of, a whole uh, 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 lineup of uh, PK1 scopes, uh, PK1V, PK1VE, PK1VS. Uh, and uh, PKA, PKA of the Swellen Order, the PO 35 by 21 p So all of those scopes um, I will uh, have little movies about so the world could see them and uh, appreciate and uh, envy me for having them <laughs> all in one place. All right, so keep watching my videos. Take care.